Hey guys, this is Dylan Self with JTEC. Um, today we're going to talk about calculating gear ratios in a manual transmission. Um, pretty much the basic flow of manual transmission. Um, you got your input shaft, counter shaft, and your output shaft. Um, your power is going to come in the input, go down to the counter, and distribute wherever gear you're locked in on the output shaft. Um, we're mainly focusing on the calculating the gear ratios of individual gears. So this is first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, and then you'll have overdrive back here. Uh, it's pretty basic to calculate the gear ratios. Pretty much you're taking your driven gear, which is the gear that's um, getting the load, um, and, you're putting, and you're dividing it by your drive gear, which is the one giving the load. So with this one, we got um, 36 teeth on our driven, and we got 16 teeth on our drive. 36 over 16, it gives us a 2.25 to 1, because um, it is a ratio. So you pretty much just take it down the line, you'll do the same thing, our driven over our drive, divide it, it'll give you a uh, number point number and then you put that to one so you'll go down now when you get to fourth gear um, what it's going to do is it's actually going to lock this gear and the power won't go down to the counter shaft it's actually going to go straight through um, to the output shaft because it's pretty much going to make these two shafts one um, getting down to the end of it your overdrive it's actually going to be kind of flip-flop the smaller number will be on over the bigger number uh, because it's overdrive, it's gonna be a lower ratio. Um, so on this one, for example, we've got 23 over 48, which gives us a 0.48 to one, um, instead of like a 2.25 to one. I mean, it's pretty basic to calculate gear ratios. Um, I'm Dylan, thanks.